We're not gonna bother. We live here. Paula, you're about to be murdered by some dude outside. Not us, you. Right there, okay. Yeah, once again, guys, don't know much about Fears to Fathom. I do know it's episodic. Um, this one is Home Alone. It's supposedly the first of, I think, five. And you can see even down there, like, indie developer, fears to fathom stories at gmail.com. So if you've got any interesting information you want to share with them, send it there. Uh, they got a Discord, they got credits. That's very crisp. Maybe we need to turn the volume just a little bit on this one. Take that down just a little. A little better. Okay, episodes. An episodic horror fears to fathom. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived it. You're playing episode one, more episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime, 20 minutes. Okay. So, and these are different, like these are different games. I have them separately. So we do Home Alone. That's the, that's the only one we're playing on this one. We can go into more of them later on other streams. Did it work or did it freeze? Uh, it worked, okay. Fears the Fathom, Episode 1, Home Alone. July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Oh, are these like real Reddit stories? Like, is this, is this where this shit comes from? I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. Oh, oh, for the for real? These are real? My parents had left for that weekend due to my work trip. Or a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. Is that the alarm? There we go. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. They're based off of old creepy pastas, not necessarily real. Okay, so this is some no sleep kind of shit. That was my alarm, so that's that's 8.03. Is it 8.03 at night or 8.03 in the morning? Oh, this found footage cam is gonna fuck with me. <laughs> Alright. Morning. Morning, Jesus and the nymphs. What we got here? Paintings, pictures. What is this now? Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Okay, so I've got to get some food. That's my priority, I guess, is the food. Oh. Fuck, I got text. <laughs> oh, it's got actual text. Can I move them? Yeah, there we go. So I've got one from mom and one from someone named Mason Oliver. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. That's a fucking dedicated mom to just pop out a lasagna. A lasagna, while like a nice meal to do over time, is not quick. So that's a mom that loves me. Mason Oliver. I can't promise, dude. May have plans that night. Oh, wait, no. Hold on a second. Let's read the whole thing. So, from Mom, it says, Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, Mom? I'm 14. Think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. Yes. Okay. I ordered pizza today. Is this me? Is this me in the game? Am I the creepypasta? Because we just had that person walking around my house in real life. So, like, is, is this about to be my fate here? Like, we don't have an alarm system. Like, we'll work this out. Um, I'll just be that character from fucking Terrifier, like, on all the TikToks right now, where it's like, someone breaks into the house and I immediately go like, <laughs> like, I have the option to choose violence suddenly. Why did I get... A, I did a face and then, like, I had a reward for it. <laughs> uh, let's see, from Mason says, how's Kem? Yeah, crap, I totally forgot, probably gonna do tonight, same. My parents are out of t uh, out for the night, want to come over, we can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with that. So, okay, we got these two. So Escape does that. What? 
Why am I peeking? Like, the fucking blinds are open. People can see me. Why am I peeking? Like, people can absolutely see me. <laughs> do I do it here, too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no reason to peek here. Um... I do like the film grain and the lighting. Like, this is nice. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. I mean, I didn't know it was their parents' room. Oh, shit. Is that our neighbor's yard, or is that my yard? Some motherfucker just hanging out in my driveway. Well, let's go downstairs and have some words about that. Motherfucker hanging out in my damn driveway. Not today. Not today, motherfucker. 14 years old. Got a bat. Okay. I think everything's okay there. We do have access to the outside. We close doors. Alright. Off to the kitchen. Ooh, food. Nice. Good choices. What do we got? We got mozzarella buffalo campana. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's my dog barking. I was like, what's that noise? Um, Parmigiano, Reggiano. Got some bio juice. Uh, what it looks to be like... I, I want to say that's supposed to be like a Nutella box or a Nutella jar. Really like loading up on that bio juice. Ooh, soda. Nice. Got the lasagna. There we go. Let's get that closed. We do not leave that shit open. Food was heating up. Chonky picks. Wait, what? G to throw? I mean G to throw. Your oven shouldn't sound like that. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Bio juice sounds like soil and green, really. G to throw. There we go. <laughs> Food was nice and hot. Okay. Can you guys hear my dog? Like he's just sitting there in his sleep. Let's see. Let's learn the layout of the house a little bit. We got a back door. Do we have lights for the back door? We have a side door. Okay. Side door, back door. Both suitable options. I liked watching TV while I ate. Okay. Take this whole fucking lasagna. And we're gonna go over here and get some fucking chill vibes on. Forest in the background sounds like it's coming from the game. Oh yeah, because he's barking without his opening in his mouth. Yeah, kind of. He's he's just full on like relaxed, like big arm out laying on his arm. Okay, I don't want to get up. I want to turn the TV on. I like to watch TV while I ate. Well, that's fine, but let's turn the TV on. All right, so we gotta turn the TV on by hand. What is this, the 1920s? All right, that looks cool. Thought I saw something outside. I was like, what the fuck's going on out there? I'm gonna eat this whole lasagna. Like, what kind of 14-year-old am I? <laughs> this whole fucking lasagna. Like, it was great. Oh, is he watching old Greg? What are you doing in my waters? You ever drinking Bailey's from a shoe? This kid is 
fucking terrifying. That's a lot of pasta. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> you ate a whole fucking lasagna, kid. Okay, no more witchcraft. I know it's hard to say, but no more witchcraft. Alright. This house also needs better lighting. Oh, got a new text message. I see from Mason. Nice. Uh, we're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Okay, cool. Yeah. Or, oh, we can actually respond. No worries. That sounds like a plan. See you then. Send. Oh, I want to send it. I can't send it? Oh, okay. In that case, fine. We'll go We'll go full teenage angst. Eh, my friend left me. Eh. We lock the door. Seems good. Let's go upstairs take a nap. I wish close mom and dad's door. We don't need to be in here. There we go. Let's see. Chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go back to bed after chem. Okay, so we're going to do the homework then. Also, huge room. For no reason. Like, we need to do more of this. Like, something something needs to be put here. Twelve thirty-eight a.m. I just... Or I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Oh, look at him. Very thorough. I like it. All right. Um, it is full-blown nighttime. That's full moon, though. We can still see stuff. Like, everything looks pretty clear. Neighbors aren't awake from the looks of it. Got a new text message from mom. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get uh, to hear from Miss Paula this time. Okay, so don't want to hear from the neighbor, apparently. This is a weird room. Weird shape. All right. So we get back into bed. 1.16 a.m. So we got, like, like, roughly 30 minutes of sleep. I got up to get some water. Okay, okay, we're gonna get up and get some water. It's fine. Getting up and getting water is normal. Normal shit people do. Is that a clock? Door's still closed. What's that noise? Wait, is the TV on? Oh, TV's on. In debug mode. Did I do it wrong? Okay, so the TV's in... No, why is the TV doing that? Okay, okay, okay. We came down here for some water. Let's get some bio juice. Bio juice works. Bio juice. We're apparently not gonna eat the bio juice. Take some water though. How do I drink this? <laughs> How do I drink the bio juice? Um am I just going up oh we gotta close this. We gotta close this. Don't leave this shit open. I'll be pissed. Uh oh shit, what was that? Is it right click the drink? Right click the drink. There we go. Tasty. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Put that there. It's fine now. I'm a kid. Fuck this shit. Oh, wait, the neighbor's up. The neighbor wasn't up before. Lights were out. I think someone popped out from around the door. <laughs> uh, okay. Can we Can we skip this part? Yeah, because we, we went through this part before. Let's see. So we have to go back through the part that we already did. Yeah, so we wake up at 8 o'clock at night. Let's see. Okay, so we need the lasagna. Lasagna. There we go. Oh, make me some lasagna. 
Doors are closed. This this hallway needs a light. This hallway needs a definite light. All right, lasagna is done. There we go. Food was already warm. Let's go watch it in front of the TV. Bam. All right. Heat that lasagna all up. What up, medic? Uh, not me playing a sound bit through my doorbell. If you're not selling grass, ass, or Girl Scout cookies, come back with a warrant. <laughs> I think that's a, a perfectly suitable option, Medic. Welcome in, man. I think that's a really good way of getting people to laugh and then probably come back, actually. Like, we're back with the warrant. Like, oh, no shit. Okay, I'll be right out. What do you want? Last bite. All right, we're feeling sleepy. Let's go upstairs. So let's walk back here, and we will get started on the homework. Okay, so homework time is ready. 12.38 a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Okay, so we can get up. Neighbor's light is off now. So we don't have to worry about that. She's still telling me not to get Miss Paula all upset. Oh, okay. Man, I was doing things right just naturally. Like, closing doors and, like, coming back later. God damn. I was on, I was on top of this shit. Those floor joist spacings don't seem up to code. I mean, Medic, come on now. How many houses are up to code? Let's be fair. All right, back to 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. Wasa. Drink. There's lights around. I don't see anyone outside. Last time they got us, but like I don't see anyone outside. Drinking this much water though, I'm gonna definitely have to pee. I may be a huge dude, but my bladder is teeny. Hello? Hello? Can't turn our own lights on. Hello? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine right there. Neighbor's lights are on though. Like that makes me curious. Also, what's making that light? I don't know what make that like that's not the moon. I don't know what's making that light. Oh, new text message. Miles, who's that at the door? You there? Oh, we got we got people at the door. Okay, we got people at the door. No, no, we got to go check on people at the door. I feel like that would be the the wrong message from our mother. I feel like the message from our mother should be there's someone at the door locked. Are you sure the door is locked? Get out. Paula sent me said so this is still mom um said he's been creeping through the windows uh we're calling the cops you kids lock every door what do you mean us kids oh that's right she thinks that uh, mason's over uh you kids lock every door and hide in your room don't answer the door no matter what he does okay well okay okay we'll go back to our room we'll go back to our room that's fine it's not a problem it's a good plan mom it's a good plan and get in here and just close things up right there yeah just hold that door tightly closed everything's fine click to hide what do you mean click to hide click how do we hide what are we, what are we hiding in oh on the bed 
There we go. We'll hide under the bed. It's a classic move. No one. Oh, he broke in. I mean, are we under the bed? Ooh, no, we are under the bed. No, 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 we're not coming out. We heard what mom said. You hide under the goddamn bed. We heard him break in. We're not getting out. Mm -mm. We live here now. We'll just, we'll live with the text messages. It's fine. No, 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 we're not getting out. Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, who is he? We didn't say that. We said, she said, don't answer the door. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I feel like, we, I feel like we should just stay. I feel like if, like, we're not... I'm getting curious now, though. She rings one more time. We'll go check. I'd go with the first message. Yeah. Yeah. She did say no matter what he does. Yeah. Let's stay. Let's stay here. This is a nice place to live. We can live here from now on. I want to hear him, like, if that's him, I want to hear him get, like, annoyed and then, like, bum rush up the stairs like, I thought you heard me ringing. Please stay under the bed, Afer. <laughs> Key lime, welcome in. Hello. We're just gonna stay here. We'll stay under the bed. It's fine. We can live here now. <laughs> Be strong, my brother in Christ. Be strong. I mean, I don't think Christ gonna help anybody in this. <laughs> Especially someone who's like not a full believer. It's like, nah, I don't I don't buy that bite. We're just gonna stay here. I don't even think I can get out though. Like I think I'm stuck here. Oh, there we go. Now I'm out. Oh, Paula's lights are full on. Back the truck up, back the truck up, back the truck up, back under the bed. <laughs> nope, fuck you, Paula. <laughs> We're not gonna bother. We live here. Paula, you're about to be murdered by some dude outside. Not us, you. You know, for the memes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we have to? I feel like I feel like we were safer here. Oh, police come! Please come! Please come! Yeah, come on, police! That's a nice light effect, actually. Like, I'm really fine by that. Oh, we won. Nice. Hell yeah. So if we stay here, the police are fine. Like, that's just the end. You you get saved, and then that's all that it is. Okay, okay. Good game. Horror movies, take note. Yeah, really, really. That is, and that is all that it was. It was, there are three achievements. There is Survivor, which we got. Um, there's Curious, so I read the chats. And then there's loud, which is alerting NPCs. So I guess if you trigger him, that's what happens. Like you get that one, like you run around the corner and he grabs you. Honestly, that's kind of a good way to do a horror game. I'm not gonna lie. Like that's, that's a very genuinely good way to do a horror game in my opinion, because even though it wasn't like overly like crazy action or anything like that, that little bit of suspense where it's like there's just a shadowy figure roaming around your house, that's good. Like, that builds the right kind of tension that I think you need for a horror game. You don't always need the Blair Witch hunting you down at all times, you know? But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That was a cute game.